Hi everyone, right now I'm brushing my teeth. I'm getting ready for the day. I'm just making sure my breath smell right and making sure I'm taken care of because I have a boy and a girl and I have to make sure that I am very, very, when I say very, I have to make sure everything is done and I have to make sure I am very taken care of because sometimes I'm always putting my kids before my own self. As a mother, sometimes we, you know, give our kids a bath, a shower, and guess what? We still left behind. So I'm learning how to take care of myself, make sure, you know, I brush my teeth, wash my face, make sure I am together and make sure everything is good with me before I do anything for my children. So I'm just washing my face, just taking care of myself. Now I'm getting ready to rinse my mouth out. This is mouthwash. This stuff is pretty good. I've been using this for about a week and it's pretty good on my teeth. And um, I tried to brush my teeth I will say three times or twice a day. Right now I'm making, you know, some tea. I've been having some problems with my, you know, throat, just coughing. So I got this packaged tea. This is good. This is for flu and um, several colds. This tea is actually good. Hey, got this from Target. So I'm taking this tea and I'm drinking it. They got the morning and the night tea. This is my baby girl. She used the bathroom. And this is them eating a cereal. And this is me right now. I'm taking care of the dishes. When my kids finish eating, I like to make sure I wash the dishes in the house. I like to make sure there's no dishes in the sink. That's just you know, me, you never know who may come over your house. You want to make sure your house is clean, whether you got your own place or not. You never know your parents may visit, you know, your aunt, somebody going to visit your house. So I try to keep my, you know, my place clean. I try to make sure everything is together as well. So I'm just wiping the counter down, making sure everything the crumbs, whatever I left, and that's it. Right now, my daughter washing her hands, and this is me getting ready to do something to her hair, but I wanted to comb it out. I like to use this conditioner stuff, and um, I like to comb her hair out. Sometimes I let my daughter hair breathe. I'm still learning how to do her hair, you know. As a girl mom, I watch videos on YouTube to teach me how to do her hair. You know, even though her hair is short, it's a lot I can do with it. I could, I look, I didn't even know I could do gel twists or plaits or different things to her hair. You know, I'm still learning how to do different things to it. And I'm learning how to be patient with her hair as well, you know. And um, I try to grease it and do more to it. You know, I'm just combing it. She think I'm getting ready to do it, but I didn't do it. I'm just combing it, making sure it's good. I was telling my son to give me the other comb. I needed her purple comb. It's more thicker than that because her hair is thick, so I needed the wide comb, and I couldn't find it. And I was telling my son, go find that comb because her hair is thick. She don't need this thin comb. And um, this is what I'm doing just to keep her hair up. She's just talking to me and stuff. She loves to look at the camera, y'all see. She's something else. This girl right here, y'all see, she going to be somebody. My baby girl, she is something. That's my little doctor. I'm telling y'all, 
This girl is going to be somebody. She's going to be somebody. Believe me when I tell you. So I'm just greasing her hair with a couple of oils, making sure her hair is together as well, and making sure she is good. She'd like to, you know, look good. So I wanted to just massage this oil into her head. I like her hair to breathe. Sometimes I don't like to do it. I like it to be out, and it's okay for it to be out. You don't always have to do your kid's hair. You know, I believe it can be out for a while, let it breathe. Sometimes we have to allow our children hair to breathe just a little bit and just, you know, you can keep it calm. You can keep it greased up, make it look nice and everything, but I just wanted to say, you know, God is good. When God blessed me with my baby girl, I knew that I had to learn how to do hair. I was happy. I knew she was a girl. I just knew something was different. So I just thank God for allowing me to learn how to do hair, even though I thought I couldn't do it. But I did it. So I tried. And I talked to one of my aunts. And she told me to just practice. And this is them watching a little TV show. And this is them just playing around the house. With their toys and everything. And my son sometimes play too much. Right now, the kids is eating lasagna and salad. And this is me wiping down the counter, the stove, wiping down everything that I see that have dirt or stain on it, the microwave. I just had to wipe down things that I see that have crumbs or whatever. I went down everything. This is the table mat. So when the kids eat, they can eat on the mat. Just making sure everything is good. Just cleaning up everything. Making sure everything is neat as well. That's my place to be clean. Because my kids watching their little program. They watch the TV show and we walk in. Oh, it's the birthday cake. Birthday cake? Tell them the cake. What kind? The cookie one. I think what the cookie one. Cookies? Yeah, the cookies. I like cookies. Anita, come on. I take one for my sister. Anita, which one are you getting? I please. Go ahead, point to it. The birthday cake. Wait, I put it in the birthday cake. I need it. I think he said the, you said the birthday cake, right? Yeah. Is that the birthday cake? One cream and one. I think he was talking about this one right there. Yeah. The no colorful ice cream. No colorful? That's a party cake? That's what you was mean, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, he wanted that. But it's okay. I know the birthday that's the birthday one. Here it is. What's that? That's yours. No. <laughs> no. Let me see how it looks. Open it up. Let me see how it looks. Yeah, that look good. Look at that. Nice, delicious hot dog. Thank you. I'm, I need something. Hungry. Kids all day. You see? Kids, my kids. This is a long time friend that I knew since we was 18. She's doing my eyebrows. I had to come see her because I haven't seen her in a long time. And um, 
Sometimes when you go through things, you know, sometimes you feel like everything in your life is just gone. This girl right here, when I tell you this girl that's doing my eyebrows, been with me since I was 18. Like, she talked to me. She encouraged me. And I just forgot. I forgot about her. And when I went to the mall and I seen her, I said, hey, what's up? Like, I knew who she was. My sister was telling me, you know, you got to go see this girl. This girl at the mall, she been asking about you. And I said, I got to go see her. Let me go see this girl. I went up there to see her. And when I seen her, she hugged me. She couldn't even believe how I looked. Because me and her married, you know. She married to her husband. And I'm married to my husband. We married now. And we came a long way because we used to talk about our future. We used to talk about things. Back then, I used to sit up there at the mall before I had my children. Before we had our kids, we used to sit at the mall and talk. And we used to have girly tea and and we eat. Sometimes we would share lunch and stuff or dinner. And we would just talk about our future, things that we wanted to happen. And this girl... She knew me for a long time. Right here, I'm washing the kids' clothes. This stuff right here is pretty good. I use all my hammer on their clothes. It's pretty good. Like, after you wash their clothes, you still get spilled the stuff on it. I had to wash... About two this clothes. is me doing the dishes three, right now. I decided but, um, to clean the kitchen up a little I'm bit. Just washing so I'm washing the dishes. Sure I'm making sure everything care. is clean and out the zinc. And I'm just making sure yeah, everything is taken care of. Sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I like to make sure things are together. So I didn't like the way the kitchen was looking. So I end up washing the dishes, making sure the dishes was taken care of. And just making sure everything was put in the right spot. So me, I, I like no dishes in my zinc. You know, I believe, you know, dishes should be out the zinc. You don't sit dishes in your zinc for like two to five days. Some people may do that. I wash my dishes every day. And I just like my kitchen to be clean. And if I see something, I have to get it up. I have to wipe it or I just have to make sure it's out of the way. That's just how I am. And I've been like this for a long time. I just like to be neat. I just like my stuff to be organized and placed where I want it to be at. So I'm just wiping down the counter. and I'm cleaning the countertop as well and wiping the zinc out. I wanted to make sure everything was together as well. So everything is good. Now I am cleaning the floor in my kitchen. I seen some crumbs on the floor for my kids going into the cabinet, messing with chips or getting something that they want. I cleaned the floor to make sure everything was well. I have to clean my kitchen floor, I would say every day, because it's crumbs. I have two kids, a seven-year-old and a three-year-old, but they're always into something, so I have to make sure my kitchen and everything is clean. So I just sweep the floor, make sure everything is together, and make sure my house is nice and clean, so when people come over, they can sit. Right now, I'm spending time with God. This is my time where, you know, I read the Bible and I'm just talking to God as he's talking to me. I love to do my morning devotion with the Holy Spirit because it draws me closer to him. And I love to connect with the Lord because if it wasn't for God, I don't know where I would be. And I'm just being honest, you know. God has been good in my life. He has brought me out of darkness into his mouth is light. You know, without God, I'm nothing. With him, I'm powerful and I am anointed. 
And I thank God for changing my life around. And that's why I do what I do for people because, you know, you have to go through it to know what God can do for you. And I want to encourage you to get this, my prayer journal, so you can journal your Bible verses and you pray to God and you really get on your knees and you actually talk to him and spend time with God. You know, make it a daily schedule. Just don't do it because, you know, you're looking for answers. Do it because this is your daily bread. You know, reading the word of God, that's how we connect to him. We have to communicate. We have to have a relationship with him. He want us to be forgiven. He want us to start over. He want us to do better. He want us to depend on him in everything. So I'm telling you, read your Bible more, be consistent, pray fast, and draw closer to God now, and do the best that you can each and every day. Every day, you should practice to get closer to God. Everyone need to practice. is a must. It's not, I'm going to try, I'm going to do it. And I know I can do this. You know, you have to try yourself every day. Try and say, I'm trying every day to do better. And I can because you got to stop saying, I'm going to just try. I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try it by myself. No, try and do it and get it done because God loves you and God knows that you're not perfect. But by you trying every day to do it, God will reward you. You know, we have to be consistent with God. You know, every day, try to pray. Try to, you know, read your Bible. Try to do the best that you can. You know, reading the Bible is important. It draws you closer to God. So I'm telling you, every day, do what is best for you so God can reward you at the end. I love you all, and I want to say to be encouraged. Be encouraged and know that. God love your soul, regardless of what you're going through or where you may be at. Continually to read your Bible, continually to be the person that God chose you to be. And just know that you are walking into great things. You are walking into the things that God has set for your life. And just know that you are powerful with God and you can do anything if you put your mind to it. And know that God loves you the way that you are. And just know that you can do this. Continue to pray. Continue to be forward. And just watch how God changed your life. Every day that you read your Bible, every day that you be consistent towards him, God will do more for you. So I love you all. I just want to say, you know, be encouraged and stay focused and allow God to live through you. Whatever you don't understand, pray about it. Write it down. And go back into it and watch God will give you answers. So I just want to say to you, be encouraged and just know that God got you. And know that you can do anything. You got this. Yes, right now I'm picking up the toys that my kids dropped on the floor. And I'm just cleaning up the little room, making sure everything is organized. And... I'm going to just make sure everything is neat, you know. Sometimes my kids, they play, they drop their toys everywhere because they having so much fun. This is what we pray for. I'm telling y'all, me and my family, we have been through it. But I said, Lord, give us a place, and God did it. So I'm telling you, your words is powerful. Whatever you want from God, speak it. Speak it, and it will come to pass in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, whatever you want God to do, speak it out your mouth and believe it because God will allow it to come to pass. I spoke it. I said, Lord, I need a place, and God gave me a place on time. He blessed me on time, and I'm grateful for it. Right now, I'm taking a shower getting ready to brush my teeth and everything. Personal hygiene is very important. I just want to talk about this as well. 
you know, before you get in somebody's face, make sure you brush your teeth. Make sure you take care of your personal hygiene because that is important. You know, sometimes we can run out the door forgetting to take care of our personal hygiene. I just want to say this to everyone, and I'm not saying this to be funny. When you wake up in the morning before you do too much, make sure that you take care of yourself. Make sure you take care of yourself. I'm going to say this one time. Make sure you take care of yourself. Because sometimes we be rushing. We take care of other people. We forgot to wash our body. We forgot to brush our teeth. But I am being serious. Please take care of your personal hygiene. Please take care of yourself and your needs. Because you are important. If your hair not together, if your breath is not together, if your self is not together, how can you take care of anybody else? I mean, be serious with yourself. You going out the door with cracks and boogers all in your nose, trying to rush to go see somebody at the hospital. I got to wash my behind before I go to the hospital. I got to wash my behind before I get out the door. And I'm just being honest. Take care of you. Put you first. Do you understand? It's time. It's 2024, baby. And I'm telling you, it's time to focus on you. It's time to develop. It's time to mature. It is time to grow up. It is time to understand that you got this. And you can do it. God got you. Some of you have to understand that you got to start taking care of yourself. You so busy trying to take care of everybody else and you losing your own self. God needs you. Right now, I'm getting ready to brush my hair with this nice smelling good oil. Olive oil. This stuff smells good. I got this from my hairstylist. He cut my hair, you know, every three months or every month or whatever. How I want to do it. He takes good care of my hair. I'm just brushing it. I'm going in a circle and I'm brushing my hair, taking care of myself. Now I'm getting ready to put my nice cocoa butter on my face and um, making sure my face not ashy. You know, I got to take care of the way I look. And I'm just, you know, taking care of my face. Y'all, I'm going to tell y'all, growing up, I tell y'all, I always had good skin growing up. But when you get to the stage of teenager, then, you know, you're a grown adult. Your face go through some stuff. But I tell you, my skin is beautiful now. I used to have acne so bad, but I thank God my skin came back together. And this is my lip balm. I just want to say to you, have a great, beautiful day. Love yourself and love on you. And put yourself first and know that God got you. God bless you all. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Me and my baby is on our first date with no kids. Look what we eat and yep. he eating his food. Got a fresh mine already. Eating my ass. Mm -hmm. Yes, y'all. We having a wonderful time. Look at him eating, eating, eating. Let me show them my plate, honey. Hi, y'all. Hi. I got me some fried chicken, some collard greens, black bun cheese, and some rice. And I got me some little sugar bread. Mm. Well, I tell you, this stuff is good. I love it. And I got me a iced tea. Mm. It's delicious. Yes, y'all. We have one for time. I'll talk to y'all later. Got some deodorant, you know, for necessities. You know, not too much. Not, you know, not too, too much. But you got to make sure you take your hygiene. Put your hygiene first. It's important. My life as a stay-at-home mom, this is what I do. So right now, I'm in the kitchen. I'm making some breakfast for me and my kids and my husband. So I'm making pancakes. And eggs. Eggs right now. Getting this is my food. husband right now. He getting my kids ready to brush their teeth and everything, and they getting ready to hold eat up, breakfast and everything. Up, so that's what they doing right there. Right now, Andrew doing his homework, and Anita is playing with her doll babies. We making sure Andrew complete his homework right now. My husband, he's sleeping right now. He getting ready to help Andrew with his other 
homework paper right now. Guardian. That's the lady that we up there helping Andrew complete his homework for school tomorrow. That's my husband. He's sleeping right now. He ain't feeling good. He tired. We had a long day. We went to the doctor's office this morning. We all tired. Oh, he's tired. You know, everybody just Stop going through. On my chest. That hurt. Right now. He just having a hard, frustrating day right now. Come on now. Stop your just, I went shopping tonight to get the family some food. I have watermelon and all different types of food that I had got for my family so we can eat and make sure we are okay as well i just wanted to make sure that we will be fine so i got enough food that will last for a while i just went out in the night and just got food for me and my family so we can enjoy some fruits vegetables and chips and other things as well and things to cook this night was wonderful me and mommy just walk into the office to get the kids some coats and um, making sure they good as well. So we just walking this morning to get the kids some coats. Um, where I live, they giving us some coats for our children. And also, come on mommy. They just making sure that the kids in the neighborhood are good as well. And we just um, making sure we get them coats and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. Going to the office to get these coats for my kids and making sure they are good for the winter time. Because this snow is no joke. And we just have to do what we have to do to make sure our kids are good. So, yes. I'm doing it. I'm gonna open the door. Over here, come on. Open the door. Right here. Open the door. Not that one, this one. Let's go. Say cheese. Come on. Right here. Three. Let's go. Three. Three. Say cheese. cheese. Over here at me. Look. Say cheese. Cheese. Good morning, everyone. Right now, I'm making breakfast for my husband. And, um, he wants some eggs, some grits, and some fresh toast. That's what I'm making right now. You know, so that's what I'm doing for him right now. Making him some breakfast. Making sure he, he eat good. So I'm gonna put the eggs on the stove and put some cheese on it. So that's what I'm doing. That's my daughter in the background. She making all that noise.
supposed to be sleeping. Andrew is up at 6.30 or 6.45 in the morning when he's supposed to be sleeping. Now, his school bus do not come right now and he's up early. It is still dark outside. Why are you up, Andrew? I don't want to eat something. I'm hungry. Do you want a part or eggs? Yeah. Or some French toast? You, yeah, you French ready toast. to eat, Mommy? Yes, yeah, I don't want food. Okay. You see, my husband done took over the kitchen because he see I'm always doing so much. But that's him flipping the eggs. I got the French toast in the microwave. I'm getting ready to make the grits. And the turkey sausage as well on the side. So that's what he's doing. Yeah. He's a kid messing up the kitchen as always. They like to play with the bones and stuff. That's what they doing, playing, playing. So this is what I'm doing, you know? This is what I'm doing. Making my husband some breakfast, making sure he's eating, making sure the kids are fed, making sure everything is taken care of. And um, this is what I do. You know, this is my daily life, everything that I do behind the camera. And um, I just want to say, you know, this is what we do. You know, we deal with our kids. You know, this is what we do. You know, at the end of the day, it's called sacrificing. It's six out in the morning. I'm making my husband some breakfast. He hungry. He want to eat. So, you see what time it is? 6.49. But it's okay. He hungry. So, I got to feed him. So, I just wanted to show y'all what we do behind the camera. This is what we do. This is my kids. They're always in the kitchen when we cook it. So that is what they're doing in the kitchen with their daddy. Yes. This is me now getting ready to get Andrew out the door for his school bus. I'm just helping him to put on his clothes, telling him what he needs to do as well, and telling him it's time to brush your teeth and prepare yourself to go to school. So I'm just helping him to get himself together. This is what I do Monday through Friday. You know, I will um, get him ready for school, either me or his dad. This day, his dad wasn't feeling good. He was telling me he was going to go to the hospital and get himself seen. So I had to get Andrew ready for school to get him out the door. And um. I just have him brushing his teeth and preparing for school as well. This is me. I'm getting myself ready. I need to take care of my teeth. Because the rest of the teeth that I have tried was not good. It wasn't good enough to get my teeth up. I'm going to brush my teeth first before I go into the shower. And I'm going to take the time to do it. I'm going to brush my teeth first. Because I have to do it. That's what I'm going to do. So this is me. I'm going to brush my teeth first. 
question or two, take it out time. Yes. Yeah. 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 sure my hygiene is together for the day but it's important to understand that you give it to God it's not your job to worry or stress about what's going on in your marriage give it to the Lord and let him deal with it Andrew's getting ready to go to school right now go go Andrew go go come on come on go 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 all right, Andrew. See you later. Bye bye. He going to school. My husband not doing good oh, right so now. Sad. I was trying to get him some uh chicken noodle soup and some ginger ale. He shy today. He he just not feeling well. It's okay, honey. I'm here. It's okay. It's okay. This is me. I'm going into CVS Pharmacy. I was looking for some new prenatal pills and different items as well and um i went in here they didn't even have what i was looking for and um i mean they had everything else but it was just one thing so i went to target and got these items okay you earned now it, i'm just washing my clothes and washing my clothes together for the week Right now, this is me and Anita. We waving. Hi. So right now, we are getting ready to make breakfast and everything. I'm getting ready to make breakfast with Anita today. And she's just looking at her toys as she's going to the kitchen. She's just showing me her toys and everything. And I'm just talking to her as well. So this is Anita. She gonna make oatmeal for the family. You see? You Today what we are gonna eat is some um, oatmeal. Oatmeal, brown sugar oatmeal. I will bowls. For me, her and Andrew. Andrew and Anita. I want to eat oatmeal. to eat oatmeal, something healthy, something light. Okay, so what we gonna do and now? She's just gonna is show us what she's just yeah, doing. Like this. Pour it in. Come on, take All right. Good. Put it all in. All in. Very good. One more. Okay. Very good. Okay. Right now, my husband is about to wash my hair. I'm getting ready to grow my hair back. So, my husband, I have him washing it. And he is going to put the conditioner in it as well. 
I decided to grow my hair back. I just needed to, to be cut for a while just to get the feeling. I'm going to grow it back, figure out what I want to do with it. If I want to restart my locks or what I want to do, I figure it out. But I'm using this condition and shampoo. My husband is talking to me and stuff as well. I had my hair cut maybe for, I say maybe, I think about five months so far. It's going to grow fast. Y'all going to see it. My hair going to grow fast. Y'all may see me with a bush. But I'm going to grow it back and just see how it grow and everything. And um, my hair, I just needed to cut for a while because of the things that I had been through. And, yep, my husband just washing the dirt out my hair sometimes we don't even know but I had dangerous and just dry scalp right here so he just washing it out and everything and making sure it's clean he was using the shampoo on it and then he gonna use the condition so my hair feel much better thank God for my helpmate so he using the conditioner now and um this stuff is amazing i tell y'all i've been using this stuff for five months and this stuff is amazing on my hair and um you know i would say take better care of your hair you know do your hair how you want to. Just because a woman cut her hair doesn't mean that uh, she's bald head or she have cancer. Sometimes a woman cut her hair because she went through it so much. You know, I went through a lot. So I had to cut it because I didn't want to walk in the same mess that I had years ago or wherever I went to. So I cut my hair to start my hair journey over. And my husband, he's just washing it out with some conditioner right now. And he's telling me he just rinsing the soap out and everything. And then he's going to oil my hair with some oil. And that's about it. I just say take better care of your hair. Love your hair. And know that your hair is important. You know, you got to love your your hair. It's a part of your head. And now I'm getting ready to dry my hair. I done got that big old towel. <laughs> so this me drying my hair. My husband is helping me out. Right now, my husband is greasing my hair. And he just massaging it as well so the oil can get through my scalp. And I'm just talking to the kids and everything. So, yes, you guys, I'm growing my hair back. I'm excited about this. Let's see how long my hair grow. Let's see how it does. Yes, we looking for Andrew Buss as he's doing my hair. I'm talking to Andrew about putting his face mask on and how it's required. They still want us to wear face masks, you know, as we go out and in. So he just greased my scalp. I was telling him to put some oil in the middle of my hair. Y'all, yeah, I tell y'all, my husband greased my hair. He gonna try to tell me if I can feel the oil. I can feel nothing. So, I'm telling you, he's just massaging the oil in, and um, we're going to see how this head grow. We're going to see how this head grow real fast. I'm using hair growth oil. It's something like a, a white bottle that I'm using. So, we're going to see how this go, and um, I'm excited to see.
This is the stuff that I use for my hair. Go get it if you need it. Anita is at the park today. She's getting on the swing. This way, mommy. This one over here. That one a little too big. This one? Yes, please. Okay. Look at mommy. Hey, mommy. mommy. Hey, what's wrong? Mommy. This Anita, come on. She's getting ready to slide down. You gonna slide down? Come on. Anita, come on. She acting like she's shy. She is not shy. Come on. Anita is having a great time at the park. Come on, Mommy. There you go. Yay. Good job. <laughs> Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Yeah. No. Go oh, ahead, you got it. You're not scared. Come on. Come on. Don't fear. Don't be scared. Come on, Nita. I can You can do it. Come on. Keep going. Come on. You're almost there. Come on. You want me to do it? Yeah. I see you. Good job. Come on. Please. I'll go fly. Come on. Are you scared? Whee! See a ladybug? Good job. That's a ladybug. That's a snake over there. You see? Say snake. <laughs> you remember when she used to cry so much? Move your legs. Come on. Yeah, I did it. Good job. Climb. You got to climb up there. Okay, do it. Okay, do it. Come on. Okay. Go. See you later. Bye. I love you. Go ahead, mommy. Go down there. No. You want me to go? Woo! Wow, wasn't that fun? Go ahead, girl. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Good job. My kids taking the trash to the dumpster right now. God is good. God woke us up.
Today is a beautiful day. God is wonderful. My God is graceful. My God is a healer. My God is a provider. I thank God for waking me and my family up this morning. Say thank you, Jesus. Andrew and Nita, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Come here, Nita. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus, Andrew. Thank you, Jesus. I just got my kids some toys from Dollar Tree. And they getting ready to play with these little toys. If you want a budget, you can go to Dollar Tree. All these toys right here ain't nothing but a dollar. And these books ain't nothing but $125. You can give this to your kids. You can read them books. Right now, I'm teaching my son how to be a better reader. Teaching him how to be a better reader right now. And how to pronounce his words more better. My son have, you know, speech delay. But his speech is doing better now. You know, and um, these two little books that I got, hold the books up for me. The books that I got is um, Bedtime by Sesame Streets and Prayers is My Blessing. Those two books, I'm going to be reading to them at nighttime. I'm going to read it for a whole week and see do he remember the book. It's important that we teach our kids how to read and write. Let me tell you this, the school is not their job to do that. As a mother, as a father. You got to learn how to teach your kids how to read. So stop looking for the school to teach your kids. You are your child's first teacher. If you're not teaching your child, then what are you doing? Wasting the daytime. Teach your child. Spend time with them. God gave you kids. Take care of your kids. Stop looking for the government. Stop looking for other people to take care of your kids. Your mother already raised you. Your father already took care of you. Even if they wasn't in your life, still be a parent. Still do what you need to do and still stand and do what you need to do for your kids. Stop waiting for people to help you because guess what? Sometimes we ain't going to have help. When I had my son, my mom was there, but I did the job by myself. I had to change his diaper. I had to burp him. I had to take him to school. I had to do everything. I was a mother at the age of 23. Then I became another mother at the age of 27. Had my daughter. So what I'm saying to you is this. It may get hard. It may be rough. But you got to keep going, baby. And life is going to get better. Take care of your kids. They are a gift from God. And be thankful. Some people can't have children. You got children. Treat them right. Treat them with respect. And watch and see how God bless you. So be encouraged. God bless you all. time story is... Prayers for my blessings. Don't sleep. Yeah, she's sleeping. I have so many blessings that I cannot count them all. And they are very big, even though I'm still so small. God, I thank you for what's those? Flowers. Sweepy, sweepy. Mm -hmm. Seven happy days, a week to rise and shine. Six pretty mornings, glories bomb and twine. What's that? Oh. Sand. Yeah. Very good. Mm-hmm. Four funny fingers, pets on hands. Fat finger. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. Miss one of them. What did that say? Five. 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 Fifty toes. Fifty toes. Wiggly in the sand. Three cheerful friends who giggly and play. Two little hands I fold to pray. Once little me 
with lots of love, counting all my blessings from the Lord above. Dear God, thank you for all my blessings for each new day, for the beautiful earth, for my amazing body, for all that gives me joy, for my friends, my family. Thank you for listening to me. I love you. Amen. Ain't this beautiful? Oh, they eat the food. Yes, they eating dinner. Let's say the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who's arch in heaven, how would it be thy name? Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. In earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts and lead us not into temptations but deliver us from evil for thou is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus. Daddy, dear, dear. give yourself a hand good job yay glory 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 good 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 God is good. Honey, I care. Okay. Bedtime on Sesame Street. Look up. The sky is getting dark. Goodbye to friends and goodbye, park. Be still. There is so much to do before the day is truly through. Ammo put his boots away and hang up all his clothes. He says good night to you and then lies down to dream and doze. Okay. Army likes to soak and play with bubbles in the tub. Rubber duck make it fun to sing and splash and strut. You see that? Yeah. The count is cozy in his room where he can count some sheep. He count the teeth and brush clean before he falls asleep. Baby bear climbs into bed, then starts a pillow fight. Papa Bear says, that's enough. And click turn out the light. You like that? You yeah. see Big Bird? Little Big Bird. Yeah. Big Bird hugs his soft toy. His teddy bear. And yarns just one time more. Then warms and cozy in his bed in his home. He softly starts to snore. The sky is black. The moon is bright. Now please don't make a peek. All our friends on Sesame Street have fallen fast asleep. The end. This is me right now doing my nighttime worship. I'm getting ready to write my family prayer. I'm with my kids. I'm just writing my prayer about my family, what I want God to do in our life and everything. I have a journal that I keep because I believe that it's important that God hear our prayer. So I'm just writing my prayer request to the Lord and I'm just expressing myself how I feel and I'm just listening to worship music as well. And I'm just talking to God as I'm writing my prayer request to the Lord. This is what I do every night and every morning. I like to pray and talk to God. This is my time I spend with him. I'm just listening to prayer, you know, music and worship music and stuff like that. I like to keep my mind focused on Jesus as I'm praying because I believe it's important that we pray day by day because it brings us closer to God. Whatever we feel it on our heart, it's important that we express it to God because God 
have to know what's going on in us in order for him to help us. So if some of you have a journal, if some of you have a diary, it's important that you write to God and tell God how you feel. Let God know what's on your heart. Let God know the things that you're going through. Let God know what you need help in. Let him know what he can do for you to make you a better person. You know, we all struggle. We all go through pain. But God is a healer. God is a way maker. And it's important that we worship God because worshiping the Lord, it brings us closer to him. You know, some of us, yes, we struggle with sin. We struggle with temptations. We struggle with a lot of things. But God is real. God can forgive you. God can make you over. God can fix you. God can turn your storm to sunshine. God can turn your rain to a, a story. And you look at yourself and you say, Lord, I'm going through this, this rain. I'm going through the storm. And God look at you and say, look, I'm getting ready to bring my fresh wind on you. And I'm getting ready to clean you up. So God can't fix you. God can't clean you up. So you continue to be encouraged and keep the faith and hold on. Keep staying in position and allow God to fix you because he will. You know, as a mother, sometimes I find time to worship God. Sometimes I got to go in the bathroom. Sometimes I have to go into the closet. I have to find time to worship God because sometimes my children are in the way. So what I do is if my children is in the way, I just take my children. I just say, okay. It's time for me to worship. I'm going to take my children. We're going to worship. And that's what you do. You got all this time. It's, it's no way that you said, I ain't got time to worship God. Spend time with God. Allow your kids to worship the Lord with you. I have so much time. So I say, you know what? I'm going to worship God. Y'all going to join me. And we're going to worship God together. You know, kids can sit down all day, watch TV. And play, have them worship. And you see my daughter, she's dancing because she liked the song. And she liked it. And she's dancing. She worshiping God. I was telling Andrew, come on. Get up and worship God. Enough playing with toys. Let's worship the Lord. You know, it's important that we teach our children about Jesus. The Bible says, train up your child in the way that they should go. So they want the part from you. It's important that you train up your child correctly. And make sure you're teaching them the instructions of the Lord. Because if you don't, your children, they won't listen to you. It's important that you teach them right from wrong. You see, I'm I'm hugging Andrew because today we was having a difficult day. He wasn't listening. So I have to help him. I'm talking to both of them. Telling him to listen. You got to listen to your mother. You know, obedience better than sacrifice. I'm telling him, you got to listen. You know, sometimes these kids, they don't want to listen. They want to do what they want to do. But I'm correct him and let him know that you got to listen to your mother. You're not going to be disrespectful. So I, instead of me going back and forth, I put some worship music on because I know that's not my son that's acting like that. I know that's a demon. So that's why I said to get that devil out your kids, put some worship music on. Pray over your kids, pray over yourself, pray over your household, because the devil going to always come. It's either he going to use you or he going to use your kids. The devil always trying to use my kids against me because he know that I love God. and He know that I will worship God. Doesn't matter what I'm going through. I done went through so much in my life. I understand everything. Because I went through mostly everything in my life. And I'm only 30 years old. I went through a lot. You know, I was in hell. And God gave me another chance. And God fixed me. So if God can fix me, he can fix you too. You got to really submit yourself to the Lord and really be serious. And watch and see the change that God bringing you. Anita just got finished using the bathroom. She's doing pretty good. We're potty trained. She almost there. She tell me when she got to use the bathroom. She also tell me, Mommy, I flush the toilet. She know how to flush the toilet, and she wash her hands after she uses it. She's doing really good. 
And she's three years old. She is almost there. Ain't that right? I love this bathroom. Yes. You use the bathroom. Good job, girl. I'm proud of you, Anita. Yeah. Yep. So what I'm going to start doing, when she uses the bathroom, I'm going to have a little chalk somewhere in my bathroom. I may put it right here. Every time she uses the bathroom, I'm going to put, I need to use the bathroom and give her a sticker. And um, that's how I'm going to reward her. And she used the bathroom for a whole week. She she gets something. If she used the bathroom for a whole week or even three days, she gets something. And she's doing good using that bathroom. Real good.